Good day, this is Clayton Braun with Alliance Technology Partners. Uh, today I want to discuss crawling as it pertains to partial scanning. Uh, more specifically, I'd like to cover uh, CWL files in context of uh, performing partial scans. Um, when scanning only specific page uh, within your site, you may be missing scan variations for that page if you're not um, using a complete crawl. Um, as parameters may be declared elsewhere in the site structure, and, and these parameters are many times used to build the variations for the specific uh, content you're trying to scan. Um, for example, here I have a scan pulled up already that I did for testaspnet.foamweb.com. This is Acunetics test phone site. Um, and when I performed this scan, I selected a, just a wizarded scan. I did not use uh, previously saved crawl results. Um, in this case, though, I did uh, show advanced options in the scan wizard, and I did select after crawling, let me choose files to scan. And essentially what this does, uh, if, for those that aren't familiar, allows us to say, okay, we've got our entire site structure, but uh, I un unchecked all of the content and only selected default ASPX. Essentially, we have an entire site structure, so we have a call crawl in its entirety, but we're only specifically doing vulnerability scans for default on default ASPX. So if we have uh, parameters that are declared elsewhere on other pages, those will be included when variations are uh, developed for scanning specifically this page. Um, and as you see the results, this is a WVS file if I save it. I could save this as a WVS file. Um, and it's important to know that crawl data can be saved in the WVS. So if I went ahead and I saved this site structure out, I can save crawler data. It'll save to a CWL file. Um, but it's important to note that that CWL file will be a crawl in its entirety. But if I pull this crawl for a later scan, it will only include the pages I selected. So it's important when you save crawl files to label them as such that that is only for scanning for partial content. Um, so if I do a save crawler data here, and usually we like to de designate the date timestamp. Um, it helps specify you know, when a file was created. Uh, and also, I want to put in here partial. So that way when I go back and I pull that crawl for a future scan, I know that I'm dealing with a scan that only has certain items selected. Uh, to further explain that, so we have our crawl data that's saved in our WVS file. Uh, we can also come in here and we can open up an existing crawl, the one that we just did. And you'll notice if I go up here and I select this checkbox option, it's going to show me the files to be scanned. And you can see that none of the files are selected. That's because when I did my wizarded scan, I went ahead and unchecked all, and I checked only default ASP ASPX. And then when I pull that scan up or that crawl up later for use, I should be aware that only a single checkbox is selected in there. Although I am doing it the appropriate way in that I've got my entire site structure. Um, if you only have a portion of site structure, like I said, you'd be missing uh, possible parameters that are declared elsewhere in the site that would apply specifically to this page. Um, I will have more videos on uh, crawling options, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please visit our site and uh, check out our other videos. Thank you very much.